Why do we fall ill? Organ and tissue specific manifestations. Manifestations of infectious diseases. The story so far is that the microbes enter the body to attack it. Do you think the body is just sitting there doing nothing? No way. The body starts its own attack on these microbes. That is the immune system at work. The body sends its soldier cells to the place of attack, the target area. And we can see signs of it too, such as inflammation, swelling, pain, fever, etc. So next time you see these signs, you know your body has started its attack on the enemies. You must have seen and heard about a lot of campaigns about HIV and AIDS. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. HIV is the virus and AIDS is the disease. It's a dangerous virus causing a deadly disease. Why is the HIV virus so dangerous? It goes and damages the immune system. That means the body cannot fight back. Therefore, all infections become huge. Therefore, a simple cold can turn into pneumonia. Therefore, a simple intestinal infection can turn into major diarrhea with blood loss. Therefore, any infection can become serious and kill a person with HIV. Microbes don't always attack in large numbers. Sometimes, a very small number of microbes enter our system. Let's see if you can figure out what happens in different situations now. Microbes are less, immunity is good, disease level is minor. Microbes are less, immunity is bad, disease level is life-threatening. Microbes are more, Immunity is good, disease level major but acute. Microbes are more, immunity is bad, disease level life-threatening. Principles of Treatment Principles of Treatment Disease is caused by microbes. How do we treat it? 1. Reduce the effect of symptoms To reduce the effect of symptoms, we use medicines for pain, swelling, fever, loose motions. Still, all this cannot fight the disease. What else do we need to do? Kill off the microbes. There are different attacks for different kinds of enemies. Example, antibiotics for bacteria. What is the very important thing that we must consider when we start thinking of ways to kill off these microbes? It should not harm the cells of our body. So, designing medicines to treat such illnesses is a little tricky. The medicines are designed to block some important life processes of the microbes so that they cannot continue to live and reproduce. This process becomes even more tricky where viruses are concerned. Why? Viruses don't have such life processes. So, there's really no proper medicine for diseases that are caused by a virus. Principles of Prevention What happens once a person gets a disease? The body functions get damaged. The person is weakened. The person can infect other people. It's better to take care to not have the disease rather than fixing the person after he or she gets it. Prevention is better than cure. How can we prevent different kinds of diseases? Airborne diseases Avoid overcrowding Waterborne diseases Maintain private and public hygiene Vectorborne diseases Vectorborne meaning By mosquitoes, flies, etc. Maintain private and public hygiene Can you think of any other way to prevent diseases? Vaccinations How do vaccinations work? Basically, a weakened microbe is sent inside the body. The immune system senses this enemy 
and gets all ready and attacks it. So, how does that help? When the real germs get in, they won't be weak and their numbers will be large. So, how is the vaccination of any help? The immune system remembers and always stays prepared. So, when the real germs come in, the body launches a heavy attack immediately. Vaccinations have been very effective. Smallpox is completely eradicated from India and many parts of the world due to the vaccines. Scientists have developed good vaccinations for tetanus, diphtheria, whooping cough, measles, polio, hepatitis A, etc. Again, three cheers for the scientists. And there is one more way to prevent diseases. Can you think of it? Strengthen the immune system. How? Eat right. Sleep right. Exercise. Let's do this. Read the in-text questions on page 187 and try to answer them. 1. Why are we advised to take bland and nourishing food when we are sick? Nourishing food helps the body get the nutrients to fight the disease. Oily and spicy food is hard to digest and it can even irritate the stomach lining. Usually, the cause of sickness is not very clear initially. So, it's better to eat food that can be easily digested. So, bland food is advised. What is immunization? Immunization or vaccination is a way of preventing diseases. A weakened microbe of a disease is put into the body. This does not cause a disease, but it lets the body build up its defenses. That way, any exposure to the microbe later does not turn into a disease. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.